Hey everyone, Eric here from Lapfix, back at with another video for you guys. Uh, we got another see a little package here. Came a very small slip. We got actually this uh, USB. This is actually how it came. It's a SanDisk USB. See, there's a 64 gigabyte casing. Looks like this casing has been actually broken off. Uh, doesn't look too great. And now we actually did see that this was actually with it. It wasn't even attached. It was just detached, and it just came with the little um, plastic piece there. So there's what it looks like here. Now, whenever you have a drive like this, especially if it's a bent condition or if it's a physically broken condition or just any condition in general, you don't want to always be uh, removing these casings first because what that can be doing, especially if this is a little bit loose, a little bit broken, there's lots of little components actually on here, and you can actually damage some of them that are on here so you don't want to ever be removing anything opening things even casings because what are you looking for in here when you're opening up something especially like this or usb or any type of thing you're not going to find the data in there you still have to fix it to get the data off right so i can kind of see the damage but it'd be better if i show you guys under the microscope so let's go look at it all right so we have the usb here and you can see it's physical damage you see how these um four uh, connectors are lifted these were actually connected to the board here, and these are pads that were underneath it. And these pads actually go, and they connect via trace lines. You see these little lines that go along here? They go to the SanDis chip. These can be anything from power, can be data, could be lots of other things. So these need to be connected. That's why it's there in the first place. So And that coating gets ripped, the pad gets ripped, and it's not just as something as, oh yeah, you can just go ahead, touch it back on there with your tweezer, and then it's going to be fine. Uh, no, most of the time you have to do... A little bit more surgery and that's what we're going to actually be doing today. We're going to be removing this USB head and we're going to be connecting a special tool that we actually do have for these type of situations and we're going to be recreating um, where those damaged pads are. So what we want to do is uh, if you actually do look here each pad has its own type of uh, special connection to it and there's different trace lines that go to those to those pads. So what we want to do is we want to make a little bit of space and just recreate what those pads have been doing before which is just connecting the top part of the USB there. So all we need to do is just put a little bit of solder on each one. We need to dig a little bit first, though, to see that pot of gold. And then what we want to do is put a little bit of solder on each of those connections so we can recreate the, the connection on our USB that we have here. And it's going to be a pretty freaky uh, thing to look at, but it's definitely a good way to at least get the data. But you have to see how close and how small the connection is, how easy it is for it to break off, because all we need to do is just recreate what each of those pads were connected to before. So we're going to solder this in, and then we're going to go ahead and see if it works and make sure it should should work because probably should anyway because look it's just connecting we're recreating exactly what it did before. So let's go ahead and see if it works. We have our diabolical experiment here, and we want to be really careful because if we we don't want to hold it by the top here because if we hold it by the top there, it's very very fragile. So I need to plug it in very gently through the top. Let me do that. <laughs> I don't even want to hold the camera and stuff, but. Let me plug it in through the top. Okay, and we got our, our signal there. See it's blinking. Oh, it came up on my uh, thing. Let me go show it. All right, so this is it. Uh, obviously I'm not gonna show um, this side of it because that's really the information that's on there. And I'm gonna go just at least show for the, because it just popped up, right? So the USB drive is, is a 64 gigabyte one and it's this one so there's about like 20 gigs of data or so so it looks to be good i uh, will transfer it make sure it's good to another usb because obviously we're not going to be using this usb ever again so uh yeah so anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video on how to do data recovery on a bent usb and again try not to always open it up or do anything inside there because you just really decrease the chance of of recovering the data especially if you're doing a hard drive too you don't really want to open it up and stuff like that but hope you guys enjoyed watching it's a fun little video that we were able to do and if you did please leave a like it really does help us a lot subscribe for more content and see you guys in the next video thanks a lot for watching take care guys bye